The following video is all about place value and rounding. So place value is a way that we determine the location of any digit in a particular number. We know that values to the left of the decimal point increase as they go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, and so on. And values to the right of the decimal place are the same, though they end in th. There is no once place, by the way, because values to the right of the decimal are making up a portion of the whole. So this first value here is actually tenths, and hundreds, thousands, and so on. I've labeled it for you here in the uh, completed version of the notes. We go on to talking about rounding. And really, there's just a couple of rules that we need to know. When we're asked to round, the first thing we do is we look for the number we're asked to round to. And then we look at its next door neighbor to the right. If the next door neighbor is 0 through 4, then we leave the value alone and we truncate every number after that. In other words, we replace all the values to the right with zeros. If the number is 5 or greater, then we bump up our asked number by 1 and then replace all the rest of the values with 0. There's some examples already here for you. Rounding to 3 places, rounding to the nearest 100, rounding to the nearest 10,000. The most important thing is just to be careful with the values to the right of the decimal and that it starts with tenths. I'll do an example. Suppose I have the value 10.798. I want to round uh, to the hundred. Notice I have a th on the end, so I'm looking to the right of the decimal. Again, tenths, hundreds would be right here. It's a nine. And so we look at its next door neighbor, and its next door neighbor is an eight. And so because it's five or greater, we should be bumping this value up, and we would write this as. 10.80. Technically, that's the same as 10.8, but because we asked to round to the nearest hundredth, we should put that zero there. I think about an example, maybe if we were talking about money, and it said round to the nearest cent, even though when we round, this value becomes a zero, we still want to put it there. We don't want to say I have 10.8 dollars. I want to say I have 10 dollars and 80 cents. So that's the importance there. Of course, all these other values to the right of the decimal are technically zeros, but we don't need to put those values there. That's pretty much it for rounding.